I finally finished work. Good work, Mark. Working late again today? You always work so hard. Are you eating? It's true. Every day, I'm the only one working overtime. I have to live up to expectations. I'm sorry for worrying you because I'm always out working, Martha. Do you still want me to go there? I'm worried about you. Don't worry. I'm doing my best. I can't concentrate when you are around because it spoils me. I want to concentrate on this project. I'm a workaholic. Well, if you need anything, just let me know. Oh, thanks for everything, Martha. By the way, I'm going on a business trip again this Saturday. Another business trip? Same place as last week? No, this time I'm going somewhere else. I'll be back Tuesday night. I know you'll miss being all alone, but I'm almost there. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I'm off. Hey, Mark. Yeah? What's wrong? You lied about going on a business trip, didn't you? What? I know. I know you're having an affair. I know that you're having an affair, and I know that you've been with a lot of people. What are you talking about? I would never do such a thing. I've always been devoted to you. I'm shocked that you think that. You're still dodging the question, aren't you? I asked your sister-in-law. She said that you were walking with another woman. I saw the picture she took. That's your sister's bad joke. She's not over here. Don't take it seriously. Please, Mark, if you like me at all, don't go today. Don't be reckless. I have to work now. There is no way I can change my plans. I have to go. Mark! You know, there was this time when I was really scared. I'm on my way. Wait for me. You're a bad guy, aren't you? Are there any other girls besides me? You idiot. You're my true love, Beth. I'm leaving my wife. Oh, yeah. You never learn. You're telling other women anyway. That other women are just for fun. My wife is also annoying. I'm going to break up with all the other women except you. So come on. Let's get married. Well, I'll think about it. I'm home, Martha. I'm back. Welcome back. What's the matter? You're not in good spirits. Don't tell me you're still worried about your sister's prank. Please don't do that. Your private phone. Your phone was off, right? I've been trying to call you. Oh my God, that's enough. I'm trying to concentrate on my work. I tell you all the time. If you cannot trust me, then we should get a divorce. Isn't it you who wants a divorce? Huh? Why? You know, I hired a detective. What? I had him follow you during your business trip. Wait, Martha. Did you think I was annoying? That's terrible, Mark. If you found out, I'll tell you. Martha, it's your fault. You've always been so uptight. I'm sick and tired of you always holding me back like that. Mark, have you always felt that way? Yes, I did. So let's break up. I'm in love with someone else. You're just going to reopen the door? That's too much. I hate you. I don't care if you hate me. I love her more than you. Now I'm going to get revenge. What are you talking about? Martha. Hey, Martha. Behind you. Huh? Hey, sis. Oh, she answered. You finally woke up? I didn't just wake up. It's your fault. You put Martha on the spot. Huh? Unnecessary thing. 
It can't be helped. I was on a trip and happened to see you. Besides, it was your fault, wasn't it? I was on good terms with Martha. Poor Martha. What are you talking about? I was stabbed. I'm the one you should be feeling sorry for. Where's Martha? Where's Martha? I'll turn her in. You still have no remorse. Fine, I'll tell you all about it. Martha turned herself in. She'll probably get a suspended sentence. Huh? You've got to be kidding me. After what she did to me? Yeah, yeah. Mom and Dad said they'd cut ties with you. What? When I told them what happened, they said they were sorry for Martha. They don't want to see you again. What are you talking about? They're my parents. And you don't have a job anymore. That's not possible. You don't believe me if you don't want to. I know you've been hitting on girls at work. One of the girls was so freaked out by the whole thing. They told the company all about it. Oh, no. I'm taking Martha's side, too. I'll make sure to get palimony from you. Just be ready. Well, goodbye. Work hard. Sis. Hey, sis! Shit, she's not reading it. Beth. Beth? Hey, don't ignore my messages. Hey, reply to me. Sorry, sorry. I got a little held up. What? Where do you think I am right now? Huh? What's going on? I'm at the hospital. I told you about my wife the other day, right? My wife stabbed me. I never thought she would stab me. Well, now I'm a free man. By the way, Beth, when will you come visit me? Huh? Sorry, Mark. Sorry about what? I'm sorry, but can we end this too? What? What's wrong with you? From now on, we can go out with each other without hesitation. Why are you suddenly saying that? I never told you this before. I have a husband. Huh? I've never heard of such a thing. That is why I didn't tell you. Calm down. What do you mean, calm down? I told you that you were the best. That's why. What do you mean? It was just for fun. Mark, you're too serious about this. Mark, you're annoying. So I'm sorry. Bye-bye, Mark. Good luck with everything. Hey, wait for me. Beth, Beth, answer me. You're all I've got. Even if it's just for fun, Beth. After all that, I couldn't get in touch with Beth. Apparently, she blocked me on Instagram. My parents also blocked my phone calls. When I went back to my parents' house to see them in person, they wouldn't even open the front door. I'm trying to find a new job. But for a guy who always skips work to see girls, I have no qualifications and no experience. I'm working part-time to make ends meet. The other day, I received a divorce settlement letter from the court. I can't afford to pay alimony in this situation. I tried to contact Martha, but it seems she has changed her phone number and everything. I don't even know where she is now. Anyway, I have to work now. I work day and night until I'm a wreck. It wasn't supposed to be like this. There's no one around me anymore. I was supposed to be the victim, but I lost everything.